Hi, I'm Beth. I'm a math teacher, and I'm going to show you how to measure using fractions, decimals, and percents. Now, this is something that's best seen in a real-world measurement situation, right? So, say that I usually go on a nice long run. So, this is fiction, okay? So, I go on a nice long run, but today I was only able to do a fourth of it. Yeah, I was only able to do one-fourth of it. Sometimes you're given the fraction. Um, if one-fourth of it was, say, 20 miles, what was the entirety of it? Well, two-fourths. If this was 20 miles, then that would be 40 miles. And three-fourths, <laughs> these are not equal pieces, but of course fractions are always equal pieces. The visual here is not perfect. So um, three-fourths would be 60 miles. Oh, I'm really exaggerating here. I would never run 80 miles. Oh my gosh. But there you have it. That's what some superhero me might do on a, you know, just an average long run day. Okay, but let's go back to I'm injured and so I cannot run the whole thing like normal and instead I just run one fourth. Okay, so great. I've measured it as one fourth. Now, how could I deal with that in terms of decimals? Well, I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to my 20 miles here, and I'm going to say, okay, well, what of that, um, what of my whole is that, right? So one-fourth would be the same as, hmm, I'm not really going to use the 20. I'm going to use the one-fourth, right? I'm going to say if my whole was this amount, and I've got one, two, three, four pieces, how much do each of these pieces amount to? If this is the whole, kind of like 100%, then each of these would be, 25% or 0.25 that's a decimal that's an easy equivalent you've seen before but how did I get there I actually got there by division I actually said 1 divided by 4 I said 1 mm, 1 divided by 4 now 4 doesn't go into 1 so I had to start putting in a decimal and with that decimal I'm able to put infinite zeros behind it so 4 doesn't go into 1 but it does go into 10 how many times two times 2 times 4 is 8. What am I left with? I'm left with 2, so I have to bring another 0 down. Now, how many times does 4 go into 20? 5 times. Guess what? 1 fourth is equivalent to 0.25. Regardless of how long the distance was, it's equivalent to 0.25. So here, now I've measured that same amount in terms of decimals. How can I do that in terms of percentages? Well, again, I'm going to let go of the actual numbers, um, the actual distant numbers that were given. I'm talking about fractions, decimals, and now percents. If the whole thing is 100%, then what percent did I run? I ran this times 100, and that gave me 25%. So that's how you can measure something in terms of fractions, decimals, and percents. Have fun measuring, you guys. <laughs>